What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Ten like a TIE is again. Now, everybody knows this wrestler from WWE, Raw, or SmackDown. His name is Derek, and you've probably seen him on WWE Next. You know his name, Darren Young. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this, man. Half of y'all know, my subscribers, followers, or whoever, know that I respect people who are gay, who are homosexuals. But y'all know I hate the bullshit behind it, like, uh, like how certain celebrities handle that. Now, this guy, Darren Young, this dude, <laughs> I'm so proud of this dude. It's like, oh, man, it feels like this guy right here, man, it feels like he's my son. He's my, like, I'm 28, and he feels like he's my son, and he just did something so great that I'm proud of this man. That's how I feel, man. Like, he's my son, and he just made me so proud of him. I'm handling the situation as he should. Now, this dude got stopped by TMZ cameraman, and the cameraman asked him, he says, how do you feel about a gay wrestler being successful? And he told him how he felt. He said, well... I well, I think it would be great, and I'll be honest with you, I'm gay. He didn't run to no social media like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, or go to the newspaper or the television. I'm gay, like Raven Simone, Neil Patrick Harris, not all them. He ain't do like them fucking celebrities that run to the fucking uh, Inside Edition, Access Hollywood, MTV, BET, TME, you pick a motherfucker, whatever. He didn't do that. He didn't run to them and say, I'm gay. And that's what makes me proud of people like him. People who are gay, but it's not going to run to social media or the media to tell people I'm gay. He didn't let people into his business like that. Not like, like Raven Simone. She let people into her Kool-Aid. As I say, her Kool-Aid, you know the same back in the day, kid, you dip and dab and you don't know the fucking flavor of it. This guy did not do that. He didn't say, he didn't run to, oh, I'm gay. I've been gay for seven odd years. He didn't go, none of that. He didn't do none of them celebrity things. And that makes me proud that this man came out the closet. Even though I'm not gay, but he makes me proud to see an American that can actually keep his business to himself and tell people at the right time that he was gay but in a different way he didn't go to the media and say I'm gay he let it come to him then he said I'm gay but I'm proud to be gay I'm happy to be gay to be a gay wrestler and that's what I'm talking about and I'm gonna say it like this I'm gonna say it like this cause I'm, like I said Neil Patrick Harris Raven Simone so on and so forth they piss me off with that bullshit. And I'm going to throw Anderson Cooper in there too. So is he. Raven Simone and Patrick Harris. Anderson Cooper. So on and so forth. When they run to the media. When they run to the media. And tell the people. I'm gay. That shows me they're desperate for that attention. To tell the world. What they're doing in their lives. When they have to run to the media just to tell them that they're gay or lesbian, homosexual, bisexual, trisexual, whatever. That shows me they're desperate to get people's attention. This guy, Darryl, Darren Young, I give him so much props because you know why? He's on TV every week. Monday, Wednesday. Friday, sometimes Sundays, because if you can, well, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, Saturdays, because if y'all watch CW, you know they do the little special for the kids on Saturday mornings about wrestling, but, but for him, he's in the spotlight every Monday, Tuesday, every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and Saturdays too, he's on there for four days, so he doesn't have to run to the media and tell people his business like Raven Simone, Neil Patrick Harris, Anderson Cooper, so on and so forth. He's there getting his attention by showing his skills off in the ring to entertain me and you and everybody else. 
He doesn't need to run to the media or run to social media to tell people he is a homosexual, that he likes men, he's got a partner, or he's married to his partner. He doesn't need to do that. You know why? Because that's his business. When I did that video about Raven Simone coming out the closet, I was more pissed at her than her sexuality because one thing is if she was gay I didn't give a fuck but if it's her business I was more pissed that you she came to the media media or social media telling people I'm gay that shows she was desperate for that attention you left TV but you want to get back in the spotlight you left TV and you want to get back in the spotlight Raven Simone same with Neil Patrick Harris. Same with Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper, you should know you're on TV every day on CNN. And same with that guy that plays Sheldon Cooper. You're on TV every Thursday on CBS doing the Big Bang Theory. Why would you sit there and to get all this attention but still run and tell your business like that? But this guy, Darren Young, has all the attention he needs four days a week four days a week and even five days a week at pay-per-view shows, pay-per-view matches but he doesn't run to the media or social media to tell people I'm gay I date men I date the same sex he doesn't do that and it shows that this one, that there is people with common sense and to sit there and be the first first wrestler in the history of wrestling to actually come out and say he was gay it makes me more proud but he did it on his terms he knew he was different from everybody else not by his skin color but he knew he was different but he didn't want to be like every other celebrity that is gay Think about it. Who set off the trend for doing that? And who set off the... Like, to me, when I saw Ellen and Rosie, they had their own shows back in the 90s. What they do? They told the network I was gay. They told the network they was gay. I ain't gay, but they told the network... They say, look, I'm gay. What happened? They both lost their jobs in the mid-90s. That's what set the ball rolling. But they did it on their terms. They did it their way. They did it their terms. And they were just like they were young. But you never sit up there. And see. You never sit up there. And see anybody else. Do what these people did. You never see people do what Darren, Darren Young did. You don't see it. And, it, and, that's, and that's one thing about it is. I'm glad he came out and said he was gay, but he did it in his own way. He did it where he did it where he put it in his own words. He's like, I'm he's like, I'm proud to be gay. That's what I'm talking about. I was like, I'm not see I don't hate gays, I don't dislike gays. Or lesbians, bisexuals, or homosexuality. I don't. I really don't. But it's like this, but when it comes down to it, it's when it comes down to telling people that you are, you got seven different ways to do it. But there's gonna only be one way that people would actually sit there and look at it. it's like, well, I'm proud of you for coming out in that way, but it's just the other ways I just dislike. You see what I'm saying? Like, Darren Young, this is one this is one person that I actually agree with this person say so you know what you handle it with care you handle it with kid gloves on you handle it where people don't judge you as much as every other celebrity that has came out and that's what I'm trying to say he handled it where people don't judge him too quickly on it it's like oh he's gay oh what a fucker and I look at it and say, hey, man, first wrestler just came out and said he was gay. Kick ass, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to still watch WWE. I don't give a damn piece of dick or nut. That's his business. 
But I'm proud of him. I'm still watching him on WWE. I want to see if who his ass is going to kick tomorrow. And that's all it is to me. That's how I see this dude. That's how I see this dude. He told it in the way where he say he told it in the way where it's like, oh man, they would be cool to be to have a gay wrestler that's successful. But you know what? I'm gay. But he didn't rub it in nobody's face. He said, I'm proud to be it. I said, I think it'd be cool for a successful gay wrestler. I think it would. But I'm gay too, and I think it'd be something awesome. He put it in the in, put it in perspective where put it in perspective where I could respect this person more as a man and more as a gay man and more as a gay man wrestler. That's how I re that's how I see it. I respect him more for that. But when it comes down to people like the, like celebrities like that's been on. Like Raven Simone, Anderson Cooper, the guy that played on Big Bang Theory, and so on and so forth. And I look at it, I was like, you're dirty. You're dirty. You probably never said, why are you calling them dirty? But you don't think this daring guy is dirty. The reason why I'm calling those people dirty, because I didn't need to know their business like that. That's too much. It's like running, it's like your best friend. It's like when these when celebrities like that actually go to the media or social media, tell their business on like it. It's kind of like your friend coming up coming up to you saying, "I fucked your I fucked your boyfriend, I fucked your girlfriend, I fucked your wife," and something like it. It's hard to take in all at once. It's that's all it is. It's hard to take in all at once because you've just been bum rushed with all this information and you don't know how to take it. It's like, whoa, man, that's too much. That's too much on that. But when Darren Young told you he was gay, say, oh, now I understand what's up. Now I understand you more as a human being, more as you a person, more as you a man, more as you a homosexual man. I understand you more as a rest, as a person. But when he cut, like, and that's how I see it. I don't, I don't judge this man because he came out to be the first gay wrestler. I don't. And John Cena, he's actually happy that he came. This guy comes out, comes out to be like at first they, they like Timmy asked him, it's like, do you think there'll be a gay successful wrestler? He said, well, I don't know. I, said, I don't think so because I don't know if there's any. Like, I, I'm just not saying that it. I'm not just going, I'm not, can't quote me word for word, but you can see, but he's like, I, I don't know if there is a gay wrestler, I've never seen a gay wrestler before, and they, and TMZ dropped the ball on and said, well, Darren Young is gay, so you know what, cool, cool's like, I'm good with it, he's still my homie like no other, and his tag team partner, it looks like, uh huh, he's putting, he. no, I mean, his tag team partner on WWE, Say you know what he's cool in my book. He's been to my house. He played with my kids, and I'm always gonna be there when he needs me. I'm gonna back him up. And that's how it is. He's probably sitting up here saying, "Well, he kind of looked like a black. He kind of looked like a black John Cena. Well, he kind of does. That's what I thought when I first seen him. He looked like a black John Cena, like John Cena with a tan and an afro. But, but like I said, man, it's about this man handling his business in a in the right way. In a way where he doesn't put himself out there to get disrespected or ripped on or talked bad about because to me I think he really did handle, him, handle himself in that matter where he comes out the closet and, and, and that's, how, that's how I feel he didn't run to the media and say oh I need all this attention oh I'm gay he didn't pull that he didn't follow that trend and that makes me respect him more. But when, when it comes down to every other celebrity, they want to run to the media and call Inside Edition, Access Hollywood, Entertainment Tonight, MTV, BET, VH1, whoever, and tell them all their business. Like I don't need, I don't need to know who you fucking. I don't need if you're gay or straight. 
I don't need to know none of your damn business. But when it came down to him, he just told me what he needed to tell me. Oh, I'm gay. I got to Daryl Daryl Young just told me what he needed to tell me. But he told me in a way I can understand him more as a person. That I could take in this information he gave to me and everybody else. It's like, I'm gay. How do you feel about that? And I can sit there and say, you know what? I'm proud that you came out. I'm still going to, I'm going to watch you on wrestling. I'm going to either root for you or I'm going to boo or boo for you. If you beat my homie, <laughs> if you beat my homie, I'll be pissed off. If you, But I'm going to root for you because you came out the closet and you the badass belly gun for coming out to be the first gay wrestler. That's how it is. I'm a root for you because you're the first gay wrestler. I'm a boo for you because you just beat my homie in the wrestling match. And that's how I put it. But I'm not going to sit up there and judge this man because of who he is. I'm not. I'm really am not going to judge this man for who he is. And the reason why. The reason why is because he did the right thing as a, as a homosexual. He didn't run to the media. He didn't get up on social media, he didn't get up on Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, did whatever, and tell people, oh, I'm gay. He just let them people come in and it's like, ask him the question, what do you think about homosexual wrestling? He's like, you know what, I think it'll, I think it's cool, I think it'll be great. He said, you know what, I'm gay too, and I'm proud of that. That was gangster. I was gangster. Y'all can kiss my ass if y'all don't think, if, if y'all don't have respect for this man now. Like, I'm going to say this, Darren Young, I have more respect for you than any other celebrity. Homo well, I have more respect for you. I, have, I only have respect for a few homosexual celebrities like Darren Young and Rosie O'Donnell and Ellen. You're probably asking why these people because two of them went through hell and back in the 90s because when they, Ellen and Rosie, Ellen had a sitcom, Rosie had a talk show. When both of them came out, they lost it. They lost their jobs. They lost their shit in the 90s. And I give respect for Darren Young because he did it. He came out in a great way. I got more th respect for them three than Raven Simone, Anderson Cooper, Doogie Howser, the guy that played Sheldon Cooper, and any other homos any other gay person that came out because they was too damn because they was stupid as fuck to pull a stunt like it. I don't need to know your shit right now. You did not way well. Like, I don't like you. Fuck you. Like, you just told me that you fucked my mama. Or you killed my mama. I hate you for that. I said, you gave me the worst news to tell me on a bad day. But this guy ain't gave me some news on a good day. It's like, not, it's like, oh, you're gay. No, I'm not gay. I'm just saying, this guy has did the right thing. By not running to the media, social media, to tell people, I'm gay. Hello. And then I'm gay. No, he did it where people came to him. They said, oh, what do you think about, it? oh, I'm gay. I was like, I think because there was gay wrestler, but I'm gay too. I'm proud to be gay. I'm good to be who I am. Still going to do the entertainment. Yo, yo. That's how it is. But that, that's how I said. But that's how I said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud of this dude for doing what he did was right. For every other... Raven Simone kiss my ass. You still find this hell, but fuck you. You were stupid to run social media. Same with you, Doogie Hauser. He was good in the Smurf and Doogie Hauser. Heron Kumar goes to White Castle and all that like that, man. But that was just plain stupid, man. For them, for the rest of them to do what they did, got desperate for so some, got desperate for attention. Run the social media and the media for that. But Darren Young, I give you more props because you didn't you didn't act desperate. You didn't run to like you're a desperate person to get to get the tip. You didn't run to media to get attention. You was already in the media by wrestling, doing what you do as your job describes you to do. I give you props because you didn't do like everybody else. You set a good, better trend than the rest of them did. You set a better trend than the rest of them. I give them, Darren Young more kudos and props than anybody else that did that. I give him props for that, and y'all should too. Y'all should, should show this man some respect. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's been Afro Joe's time. Like I said, man, it was it's it's something else. It's something else. But um, 
Find me on Twitter at AfroJoeTheWookie. Subscribe to my channels, uh, CeeloGene2, CeeloGene3, and, uh, uh, what else? Uh, follow me on Tumblr. <laughs> and tell me what you think. Do you think he did the right thing and not act, not act like a desperate person and run to the media or did y'all think what, like, tell me what you think. Did you think he did the right thing by running to, uh, like, not running to the media and that desperate and all this and that just to be shown, to, just to, like, yeah, just tell me what you think. Because to me, he acts like he's got enough common sense, but that's been, this has been Afro Joe Chan, like, T.A.S. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. <laughs>